Tonight, a salute to the admiral. <laughs> President Biden announcing the new commandment of the U.S. Coast Guard, Admiral Linda Fagan, marking the first time in history that a woman will lead a branch of the U.S. Armed Forces. It's about time. The historic moment happening in front of 2,000 guests that included other service chiefs and members of the president's cabinet. It is now my privilege to introduce the 27th Commandant of the United States Coast Guard, Emma Linda Fagan. Thank you, Mr. President, Secretary Mayorkas. I am honored and humbled to serve alongside you as we look to the future. The Ohio native all too familiar with her pioneer status, often being the only woman in various stations around the world during her 40 plus years in the service. She graduated from the Coast Guard Academy in 1985, only five years after the first woman graduated. Fagan served on all seven continents from Africa to Antarctica, including a tour on the 399 foot heavy ice breaking ship, the Polar Star, and has been second in command for a about a year, appearing in this video posted by the Coast Guard. When I think about like the culture in the Coast Guard that we're, you know, we strive to achieve, it is, it's about respect, it's about being valued. Now, as the only woman at the highest level of the U.S. Armed Forces, Admiral Fagan hopes she can be an inspiration to others. Particularly to the young women, you can do anything. And uh, you are only limited by your own, uh, you know, your own inhibitions. And uh, we'd love to see you come join us in the service. The president assuring that while she may be the first, she will certainly not be the last. We need to see more women at the highest levels of command in the Coast Guard and across every service in the armed forces. And there are no doors, no doors closed to women. Priscilla Thompson, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.